I have been asked by the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center here in Seattle, Washington to say a few words about contributing to cancer research. You see this room in back of me is empty right now. I wish it was full. I wish it was full of all the people that I have known that have died of cancer, including the one of my neighbors right now is in her last few weeks of living on this earth because cam cancer has ravaged her body. My wife, my aunt, my uncles, friends, friends that I know that have survived cancer, my wife Judy, enough said. Now the reason we need to give to cancer research is because every one of us can be impacted at any time. It takes so little to support great research. And I know, because I have muscular dystrophy, and just recently some of the first treatments for muscular dystrophy that kills young children was announced. There even even some inroads into mine. So let's help wipe out cancer in our lifetime or get treatments, treatments, treatments that can prolong life. Let's take ovarian cancer and make the survival rate higher. Let's make the life expectancy from the time you're diagnosed with it from six years to 15 years or 20 years. I still have my wife today. And it takes research. The doctors can only give you people that have cancer or are going to have cancer medicines that the researchers have already come up with. Now, Fred Hutchinson was my wife's choice of where future donations would be made with our money. We did it in her lifetime, now we're doing it in my lifetime. Uh, the Fred Hutchinson is in my will. When I redo my will, I will probably be up in the ante. I give them to them on a yearly basis. As a matter of fact, put them in your will. Put any cancer research institute out there in your will. And another thing you can do, all you people that are online banking, give a dollar a month. Give give five dollars a month. If everybody out there gave five dollars a month or less to cancer research, the funds that would be available for research in different parts of the country, different parts of the world would be immeasurable. We really need it, folks. We really do because you who are listening to me or watching me can be the next victim. Your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your wife, your husband, your children are counting, we are all counting on each other to wipe out something that if you haven't dealt with it, you have no idea how this ravages and hurts your loved one and of course the survivors. And I'm a, not no longer a cancer survivor in the sense of a cancer survivor caregiver. It took my wife, it took her hard. I watched in her eyes as she died. Her last breath, her last gasps of breath were not gasps of dying, they were gasps of living. She wanted to live. So I ask you, I beg you, Write your checks, write your small checks. It doesn't take a lot if collectively the world, where this YouTube video can go to, will ante up a few bucks a year. I'm not asking it for myself with muscular dystrophy. We'll let Jerry take care of that. But for all these small institutions around the country where we people like me can further spread the word, through these videos or letters or speeches 
They're going to do an article about me and Judy here in an upcoming um, newsletter that will get to 10,000 people. This video could get to 10 million people. Probably won't. Probably get to 50 or 60. But if everybody out there that sees this will then pass it on to somebody else, I could reach a high goal. And I will never know the results from it. It doesn't matter. All we can do is ask. And we can ask and we can ask and ask. And eventually you'll see the word cancer at your local checkout counter at the grocery store and you'll throw in your extra change. And all, every little bit adds up. So don't be in my shoes. Don't, don't allow yourself to not get involved in this. Cancer is a killer, folks. Cancer is a killer. It uh, has successes. Yes, the, the, the current treatments have successes, but we definitely need more. There's too many people dying. My neighbor's dying. My, my old high school um, principal Audubon High School, Audubon, New Jersey, only has months left to live. I would rather have him around another five or ten years to swap out stories and get his life story. So, that's all I can think of to say, asking you to give to your cancer research, wherever it may be, wherever you may see it, a dollar here, a dollar there, 50 cents here, 50 cents there. Put them in your will, uh, set up your checking account for a few bucks to go monthly, and who knows what difference we can make down the line. It could be your dollar, your dollar. It was put in the researcher's hand, and he looks into his microscope one day and puts his little concoctions together and says, oh, we got it. This cure will cure ovarian, it will cure pancreatic, it will kill, it will cure breast cancer. Do it folks, do something, do something, do something, do something. Help us out. Take care, this is Gus from Morning, saying bye now.